A few weeks ago I was looking through which videos you guys watch the most currently. And I stumbled upon TraderDNA's 98% win rate strategy. In that video, TraderDNA explained the indicators needed and the rules of the strategy. Then I was thinking, now the backtest result should come. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. So I decided to code this strategy in PineScript, then backtest it on TradingView and find out the strategy's true win rate. In this video, I will explain you the strategy and show you the backtest results revealing the true win rate. Finally, I will show you an optimization I made specifically for this strategy. I also posted the full PineScript code of the strategy for our Smart Trader tier members on our Patreon, so if you want to try out this script, you can get access to it there. Link is down in the description or click on the pop up in the top right corner. Hello everyone, and welcome to Trade Smart. Without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Okay, first let's set the indicators needed for this strategy. First open up Trading View, then click on the Indicators tab. Once you are here, type in MACD. Add the moving average convergence divergence to your chart. Then type in RSI. Add the relative strength index. And finally type in stochastic. And click on this one. Ok, as I could see from his video, he didn't change any settings of these indicators, so use the default settings. There is only one thing you need to change and that is the stochastic percentage K line because in trading view the default setting is 1 but he used a 3. So now let me show you the rules for longs and shorts then I will show you how you can get access to the full script I built for this strategy and then I will show you the backtest results revealing the true win rate of this strategy and then an optimization I made for the USD JPY 5 minute chart. Here you can see a valid long entry signal. For a very long entry, first the stochastic lines needs to go below the 20 level in the past X number of candles. I say the past X number of candles because he did not specifically mention how many candles we should look back for that under 20 level. So I figured I will use 14 candles. And if we calculate back from the entry signal candle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are well below the 20 level on the 6 to 8 candle comeback as this dotted line is the 20 level. Next the RSI needs to go above the 50 level. As you can see on the entry signal candle it is well above it. Then the MACD needs to be bullish which means the fast line needs to be above the slow line. Here is the MACD and until you see these green histogram bars printed that means that the blue line the fast moving one is above the slow moving one. And finally, to make sure that the price isn't in an oversold territory yet, the stochastic lines needs to be below the A level. If you take a look on the entry signal candle, the stochastic lines are just under the A level, as that level is this dotted line here. So all of the conditions are met for a very long entry. We can enter into a long position at the close of the signal candle or at the open of the next candle. Okay, but what about the exits? As a stop loss, Trader DNA said to use the recent swing low, which is usually the lowest point of the last 10 candles, so that's what I am going to use now. Or we need to exit the position if we get an opposite direction valid entry signal. The take profit will be updated on each new valid entry signal candle, even if the script doesn't enter into a position. And again, as Trader DNA did not mention what risk to reward ratio to use, I would use a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio. But don't worry, we will backtest multiple risk to reward ratio setups to find the best one. Now let's see a short example, then I will let you know how you can get access to the full script. Here you can see a valid short entry signal. For a valid short entry, the first rule is that the stochastic lines have been above the 80 level in the past X number of candles, for which in this case I will use a 14 candle countback. Let's check that. So here is the entry signal candle. Let's count back a few candles and see if the stochastic went above the 80 level. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. On the 8th candle, both of the stochastic lines are above the 80 level, so that rule is met. Next, the RSI needs to be below the 50 level on the entry signal candle. And as you can see, it just crossed below the 50 level. Next, the MACD needs to be bearish. A MACD is bearish if we see red or light red histogram bars, 
or if we see that the fast moving line is under the slow moving line, which is this orange one. Finally, to validate this entry, we need to make sure that the stochastic lines has not gone below the 20 level since. So again, taking a look at the stochastic, you can see that on the entry signal candle, the stochastic lines are still above the 20 level, which means that all of the conditions are met for a valid short entry. The stop loss, which is updated on each new valid entry signal candle, needs to be at the recent swing high, which is the last 10 candles. Let's count back 10 candles and see where is the highest point. Again, in Trader DNA's video, he said that the stop loss should be placed at the recent swing high or low, but in most cases, that means the last 10 candles, so I will use that. Let's count back 10 candles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And find the highest point, which will be right here. So we will put our stop loss right at that level. The take profit, which is again updated on each new valid entry signal candle. In this case, we'll be at a 1 to 3 risk reward ratio level. But again, Trader DNA did not mention any specific take profit level. So in this case, we will use a 1 to 3, which is right there. Or we will exit the position if we get an opposite direction valid entry signal. Okay, let's see what happens. The script entered into a position, but then shortly after we got a new valid short entry signal, and that means we have to recalculate all of the previous stop loss and take profit levels. So now let's count back 10 candles and find a new stop loss placement. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And the highest point of those last 10 candles was right there. So we will place the stop loss right there. And the new take profit will be again at a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio trade, which is just right there. As you can see, the script exited the position at that 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio position. So this one was a valid trade. Now, just before showing you the backtest, let me tell you how you can get access to the full strategy script I used to test this strategy. To get access, you have to become a Smart Shader tier member on our Patreon. That is a paid subscription plan where you can get access to all of our other premium scripts and optimizations that we developed so far and also to a huge 350 coin crypto research spreadsheet which I use in the 1k to 10k investing challenge. Link for the Patreon is down in the description and in the comments or click on the pop-up in the top right corner. Then once you are a smart shader tier member you will find this script linked in one of our posts and you can download the full source code from there. Once you got the source code, copy it Head over to Trading View, click on Pine Editor, then Open, then New Strategy, highlight everything here and paste the code right here. Finally, you have to click on the Add to Chart button. If you've done that correctly, you should see the script right here. And now let's see the backtest results. To showcase the strategy, Trader DNA used the GBP USD pair and on the daily chart. Let's set it up. Now let's see the script settings. I am using the default settings for everything. The 10 candle stop loss lose back I explained you. And the 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio take profit level. In the properties tab I am using a $10,000 capital with a 100% order size. One trade at a time method. And without any commissions. I will check the strategy for the last 4 years of price data. And as you can see, while this strategy is profitable, it only has a 44% win rate and only 25 trades. As I said, I will try out a few other risk to reward ratio settings and stop loss placements. Let's try a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio first. Now the script gets a higher win rate, but it's nowhere near to the 98% he claimed. Let's make it even lower, 0.5 risk to reward ratio take profit. Now we are at a 68.75% win rate, which is still far from the 98%. To get that 98%, probably I have to go with the 1 to 0 0.1 risk to reward ratio. Let's check. And now we are still at an 88% win rate. Let's see if we can go even lower with a 0 0.05 risk to reward ratio. We're still getting an 88.1%. So this means that no matter how low I put the risk to reward ratio, 
I won't get a 98% win rate. So as always, don't believe any YouTuber claims to be true in a strategy video, unless they are showing a TradingView script or a MetaTrader script based backtest result. And also pay attention that a lot of these YouTubers don't use any commission, which makes basic strategies work great on low timeframes like the 1 minute, but if you would try in real time trading, you would need to pay commissions and that would destroy all of the strategies that aren't using any fees. And now let me show you an optimization that I made for this strategy, which is actually profitable. Of course it doesn't have a 98% win rate, but you don't really need a 98% strategy to get a good profitable strategy. I made one slight modification to that script, and that is that I only allow trade entries on MACD crossovers. So this could have been a very short entry trade, but not after that crossover candle. Similarly, this could have been a very long entry, or on this candle we could get a very long entry if all the other conditions are met. I will also share this version of the script on Patreon for the smart traders. But now let's see that optimization. For the asset I use the USD JPY and I put the strategy on the 5 minute chart. For commission I will use 30 tick slippage, $100,000 capital and I will use it with a 2x leverage which will be a 200,000 JPY order size. Let's see the backtest results. As you can see, this strategy has only 27% win rate with a 1.4 profit factor, but it has a nice uptrending equity curve. If you take a look on the drawdown, you can see that it's very low. So if I change the script to a bigger position size, we will still be well under 20%, while we would increase the net profit. Let's try that. I will change the order size to a 5x leverage, which means 500,000 JPY on each trade. And now we have 15% maximum drawdown with almost 100% net profit and the rest is the same. If you want to manually try out the strategy, here are the optimization settings. For the MACD fast I use a 30, for the MACD slow a 40, the signal smoothing is 70. These are the stochastic settings. For the stochastic loopback I use 15 candles, the RSI is set to 80, the middle line is at 50. The stop loss lookback period is 10, and the risk to reward ratio is also 10. And that wraps up today's video. Well, what do you think of this strategy? Do you have any other strategy you want to see tested? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to support the channel and get access to this strategy script and to all of our other scripts and optimizations, check out our Patreon and become a Smart Trader tier member. As always, thank you all for watching, if you want to see more videos from our channel, check out these videos, and until next time, trade smart!